what's up guys sick designs again uh, today I'll teach you how to make this uh, spray paint can as you can see here on my uh, desktop background alright so Cinema 4D open we're gonna go into render settings change this to 1280 by 720 then go down to save change this to JPEG go ahead and click this option here and this is where you're gonna end up saving the picture to so I'm just gonna name this spray paint can so just go ahead and select where you're going to end up saving this when we render it out. And uh, yeah. So I'm going to save that to my desktop. Then I'm going to go to anti-aliasing, change this to best, and then the max level to 8x8. Okay, and then we're done there. Now we're just going to go ahead and click this icon, bring down a floor. And now the first thing we're going to do is go to add cube object, and we're going to add a torus. We're going to go down to ring segments, and we're going to make this 50. And then we're going to go down to pipe segments and make this 50. Basically, this makes us have a smoother ring. To work with. Then we're going to go to the scaling option and we're actually going to shrink this down quite a bit. I'm going to rotate the camera around. And I don't know if you can see it. You got this square here, the red one, then you got this square and this square. You're going to want to go on this one farthest to the right and click this and actually make this ring fairly, fairly thin. Something like that. Okay? And then we're going to go back up to the cube uh, icon, go to cylinder. And I'm going to bring this up to about right in line with the floor, and then click this option and make it bigger. So just something like where it kind of fills the torus there, as you can see. All right, and now once we have that, we're going to go ahead and take our cylinder, our torus, excuse me and we're going to control C on it and control V and that copies copies and pastes it so now we're just gonna with this torus point one selected we're just gonna click this green arrow and drag it straight up without touching anything else and just get it to where it looks like the uh, the brim the torus is slightly above our cylinder here so we have that and now we're just going to go up and create a sphere. So go back again to this cube object, create a sphere, uh, change the segments on it to 50. Go down to type, change this to hemisphere, and bring this up to the top here. Scale it down. And you're going to have to just kind of eye this yourself and try to get it to where you think it looked best. When you start getting this kind of dildo look, you know you're doing it right. So, um, yeah, just click on the sphere again, press C on the keyboard, and uh, <laughs> um, go over here to use polygon mode. And it should make your, um, your uh, hemisphere uh, or your sphere uh, blue. And uh, just go up to select and go to ring selection. Kind of zoom in here a little bit and just click this top ring here. And then select this tool and bring it down some, somewhere like that. Now go back up to select, go back to ring selection and select this right here. And do the same thing. Bring it down to about, no, I don't know. Something like that. So you can see what we have. All right, and now we're just going to zoom out, and so we have that. Now we're actually going to create the, uh, the little part where you uh, you spray it. So uh, just go back into this cube icon, create another cylinder, and you're going to have to scale this way down. Let me zoom in here. It should be already pretty much centered. May need to make this a little bit longer. A little bit skinnier. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Now we're just going to go back up, uh, make another cylinder once again. Or actually, we can just delete that and control, uh, control C, control V to copy this one. Bring it up about like that and now we're just gonna go to 
where it says use model mode click this and make this larger and we're going to yeah right there you see this little square here we're gonna take this and stretch it out to make it wider that's what I was looking for and just couldn't find it may need to make this a little bit uh, shorter No, like I said, just kind of eye it, whatever whatever you think looks best. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this since this is a tutorial, but you can kind of see, kind of got a spray paint key in shape here. And uh, now we're just going to go ahead and start applying the materials because if we render preview this, that really looks like crap. Uh, so double click down here, or actually for the first thing, go to create, go to shader, and go to new key. Double click this box, go to diffuse A bring this up to about 75 percent and then just drag this onto the floor here now we're going to take this floor and the next thing we're going to do once we've got our spray paint can is highlight all of it and press alt and then G on the keyboard and what that does is group all these items together in this one thing and just double click here and rename it to spray paint can or whatever you want. I actually just am going to call it spray paint. So that'll make it easier to uh, copy this whole object here uh, later on. So we've got our floor. Now we're just going to select our floor and go to Control C, Control V, copy the floor, and bring it up. Select the rotation tool and rotate this about 90 degrees. Doesn't have to be exact. And then bring it back to somewhere right about right in there somewhere okay and now we're gonna go down to this floor icon hold it and go down to sky so we bring in a sky and now we're just gonna go to create load material preset prime materials HDRI and then HDRI 14 then we're gonna take this material and we're gonna drag it onto the sky basically that's what uh, what that's gonna do is give us uh, some really good reflections on the can um, uh, now we definitely need some lighting so go up here to light drag in a light bring it back bring it up just kind of position it wherever you want it alright so we have a light and I'm actually going to use this is definitely optional you don't have to do this but I'm going to use a thing called uh, kind of like a plug-in called Grayscale Gorilla and it basically gives us some really good lighting and uh, stuff like that for our scenes. I'm just going to use an overhead softbox. We'll kind of we'll kind of help illuminate the uh, whole scene a little bit better. Uh, you can just use a bunch of lights and stuff to do that if you don't have that plug in. So uh, if we render preview this, all right, we're starting to get a nice background here. We've got some reflections, but the can doesn't look that great. So this is where we apply the materials to the can and make it look uh, pretty realistic. So double click down here, and we're going to. Uh, materialize the rings here, the torus, um, toruses here on the top and bottom. So go down to reflection, uh, select about 30 to 35 percent reflection and then go to color and kind of make this a lighter shade of gray like that and then just drag this onto the torus. Alright and now we're just gonna do the same to the hemisphere right here the the top half of the the spray paint can so select reflection again do about 35 percent reflection and make this kind of a silver kind of gray something like that and then just drag this onto the top okay and now we're gonna do this part we're just gonna make this a plain uh, solid color black. I'm going to drag this right here and then create another material, go up into color, make this completely white and drag this onto the uh, little nozzle here. 
Okay, and now we're going to do the main body of the spray paint can. So this this right here is where you can get a little bit more creative and make this any color you want. I'm going to make this kind of a darker blue and 35% reflection to this. And then we're just going to take this and we're going to drag it onto the can. And if we render preview this, you can already see we've got... Uh, something that's looking a lot like a spray paint can and we've got some really nice reflections going here so um, now we just need that little uh, little part where the uh, the paint actually comes out of the nozzle so uh, to do that just select a sphere make it really really tiny whoops So just uh, size this down as best as you can. And get it to about where half of it's just sticking out here in the top of the nozzle. About like that. You may need to make it a little bit smaller. I don't know. This is all just on your judgment. And we're just going to take uh, the mat we made before and drag it onto the sphere also. So now we've kind of got got it to where it looks like that's where the paint's going to come out of the nozzle. So if we render preview that, you can see that uh, that's actually looking pretty good. Um, yeah, that's it, guy. That's pretty much it. So uh, the reason why I had you group this together is because if you want to, say, uh, copy this you don't have to make this all over again just uh, click on the little thing the whatever you name this control C control V and then it'll actually make a complete copy of our last spray paint can so you can see uh, if I drag that out now we've got two cans of spray paint here so that's basically all I showed you that for and uh, uh, the only reason why I showed you that and then if you want to you know you can just rotate this put it in different positions, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to delete this because uh, we really don't need that, or at least I don't. And uh, one last thing to make this look a little bit better is go back into render settings, change the effect to ambient occlusion, and render this, and this will make it look a little bit better. And, yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it. So this is our final product here this is what it's going to look like whenever it's completely done rendering and like you saw in my desktop background you can put your name here on the can or you know just whatever you want to do just make kind of a scene and uh, that's pretty much it so if you guys really like this video and it helped you out please uh, give it a thumbs up uh, please comment let, let me know what you thought and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed and uh, if you do I will subscribe to your channel also so alright um, I think that'll cover it for this tutorial, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. So, thanks for watching.